Welcome back to the Kaylee and the Bray. That was Colleen McNally playing the Bray Reel, which is, I guess you could say, is our tune. And right now, Gerald McNally is going to play for us on the mandolin, Kelly's Mountain. Take it away, Gerald. <laughs> line up for you this evening. We've got some great guitar and fiddle players for you, and we've got a wonderful dancer for you. And uh, before we get into too much fun, I'm going to sing a song. I don't want you to enjoy the whole evening. I'm going to sing you a little slow song that was written by Eric Bogle in Australia. A song about World War I or any war. The futility of war. Call it what you will. It's called The Band Played Waltz and Matilda. Now when I was a young man, I carried my pack And I led the free life of From the quarry's green basin to the dusty outback I was my Matilda But in 1915, my country said, son it's time to quit rambling, there's work to be done. So they gave me a tin hat, and they gave me a gun, and they sent me away to the war. And the band played waltz and Matilda, as they marched us all down to the quay. And amidst all the tears, flag waving and cheers, we sailed off for Galilee. Oh, it's well I remember that terrible day when our blood stained the sand and the water, and how in that hell that they called so bloody. We were butchered like lambs at a slaughter. Johnny Turkey was ready, oh, he primed himself well. He rolled us with bullets, and he showered us with shell. And in five minutes flat, we were all blown to hell. Nearly blew us back home to Australia. And the band played waltz and Matilda as we stopped to bury our slain. We buried ours and the Turks buried theirs. Then it started all over again. Now those who were living just tried to survive in that mad world blood, death, and fire. And for ten weary weeks I kept myself alive, though around me the carbs is my fire. When a big turkey shell knocked me arse overhead, and when I awoke in my hospital bed and saw what it had done, I wished I were dead, 
never knew there were worse things than dying. And no more I'll go waltzing until dawn. All around the green bush far and near, far to hunt ten ten pegs, a man needs both legs. No more waltzing until dawn. They collected the wounded, the crippled, the pain, and they shipped us back home to Australia. The armless, the legless, the blind and insane, the poor broken heroes of Suma. And when our ship pulled in a circular key, I looked at the place where my legs used to be. Thank Christ, there was no one there waiting for me to grieve and to mourn and to pity. And the band played waltz and Matilda as they carried us down the gangway. Nobody cheered, they just stood there and stared. Then they turned all their faces away. And so now every April I sit on my porch and I watch that parade pass before. I see my old comrades, how proudly they march, renewing their dreams of past war. I see the old men all stiff, tired and sore, the weary old heroes in a forgotten war, and the young people ask, what are they marching for? And I ask myself the same question. And the band plays waltz and Matilda, and the old men still answer the call. Year after year, their numbers grow fewer. Someday no one will march there at all. Yeah, waltz and Matilda. It always grieves you to think of war. Right now, I have something that certainly doesn't grieve me. I'm about to welcome two local musicians, both from the O'Leary area, Alton and Allie Silliker. Alton plays the fiddle, Allie plays the guitar, and they're going to cut into some real down-home tunes right now. Gentlemen. <laughs>
I'll tell you, there's an old Irish song called The West's Awake. Well, I have to tell you people, The West's Awake with musicians. <laughs> And uh, we get all kinds more. There's young people coming up, and there's dancers, and there's just all kinds of music happening up west, right? The yeah. west is the west. awake. <laughs> yes, Mr. Yes, sir. Right now, I have the pleasure to welcome a young dancer, Mary Ellen McLean. She's from West Devon. She's been dancing about six years, and she's just a tremendous young dancer. And I give you now Mary Ellen McLean. <laughs> 